Hello friends, I'm in Florida. Um, if you've been following along, you know I'm on vacation. I am working out of my travel size bag. If you guys do not have a good travel bag for like your makeup, um, this is a fabulous bag. It's great for our, it's just very gender neutral. I can fit, you can see I have a lot in here. Um, I have like three palettes in here, a handful of brushes and more. Um, it's really good. But you guys, this place, I have like the perfect place to do my makeup and I'm like by a natural light, a lit window. It's so good. So I'm like, I need to do my makeup tonight for going out to eat. And so I'm like, I'm going to have on and we're just going to chat. I'm just going to get all my stuff situated here. Um, but so <clears throat> I want to chat about what we did today. First, I did um, apply my cream moisturizer. This is like heaven to have, um, especially when you're on vacation where you're gonna get sunburn and all that. Um, I do have a little bit of sun. I've been applying my sunscreen, but I'm always a little red, but I love, love this cream. It just really helps tone everything. Um, so hopefully your burn is just nice and cool and it will feel good. So I actually did my makeup this morning because we decided to head over to Disney Springs. And you guys, I haven't been to Disney for, I think we figured out it was like 11 years. And Disney Springs was not in the vocabulary back then. And it was called Downtown Disney. And that's what I knew it was. And so in my mind, I was picturing downtown Disney, but you guys, it is not downtown Disney anymore. Um, it's really, it is, it's like kind of like an outlet mall almost. Um, it, but it was kind of fun to see. We only explored maybe half of it. Um, so we might go back. Um, but I can't even now picture what downtown Disney looked like anymore. I swear downtown Disney was just like one long strip and that was it. And now this is huge. You'll have to let me know if you guys know, remember downtown Disney. Say hi. I would love to chat with people who are here. Um, so we had like kind of a lazy morning. We got up like eight o'clock. It was kind of nice to sleep in. I'm sure some of the kids were up earlier than us, but we slept in the, uh, we adults and got breakfast, excuse me, breakfast. And, um, and then we wanted to get to, um, Disney Springs at about, um, about opening. So we headed down there or headed down there. We headed to, um, Disney Springs, I think we left here a little after 9 30 but then the rest of the day was really we were just having sandwiches here at the um, resort and then kind of a free for all day um, many of us wanted to do the um, the pool I'm a pool person I said you guys if we have a free day I'm doing the pool um, so the majority of us went and did the pool I have people walking by right now, it's funny. I should turn that camera around, people. You'll see what, there's people walking outside of our hotel. <laughs> um, I'm just going in with my contour. Um, so we only went to the pool after lunch for maybe hour, hour and a half or so, um, because it was hot. I don't even know the temp, but like you had to wear your sandals like to the edge of the pool because like the stones were so hot was nuts but yeah I said I this morning I um, did my makeup I did a very very light take on my makeup because I knew it was gonna be hot and sweaty and so I just um, I went really light but I did record it so hopefully I'll show um, video of how I did a really light look um, I'm gonna definitely be doing even a lighter look when we go to the big parks um, the, on Tuesday and Wednesday Oh, hey, Donna, let me see what you wrote here. So different. It just doesn't even look like it anymore. It's so weird. Videos from Mammoth Club. They have the best informative content. Oh, good to know. Oh, so I wonder if I'll see a part. They'll be like, oh, yeah, this is 
what reminds me of what I remember as downtown Disney. But it's interesting because like I noticed like there's a lot of like high end shopping um, stores. There was um, like kind of like the like Marvel stuff like you see on Disney Plus. Um, it seemed like they were not doing as much like Disney, Disney stuff, if that makes sense, like the classic Disney stuff. There, there was still a Disney store, which I loved all the stuff, you guys. But um, we did let the kids pick out something Ed, while we were there. I did say that this trip, I've been really working hard the last almost four years on this, on my saint business. And this is the trip I wanted to be able to say yes. If the kids wanted something, obviously I'm not saying yes to everything, but you guys, it's, I really want to say yes. So if they find something they like, and I think it's fine, we get it. Um, we are staying at Mystic Dunes Resort. Um, so we are driving most places. Like, um, I want to say, so like, it was like 15 minutes to Disney Springs. I think Magic Kingdom will be like 20. 20, 25, everything's like within a half an hour, I think of where we're going, but um, we we're using my parents' timeshare, so we didn't do like Disney resorts or anything like that. Is it hot? So it doesn't even matter where we're at. We're gonna enjoy Florida then, if it's hot everywhere, right? Oh, a drone show, where's the drone show? At the, um, what is it called? Downtown Disney, whatever. Disney Springs. <laughs> so I just did my, um, I did my contour and highlight. I am kind of doing a, like my normal makeup routine because we're going to be going indoors to eat. But obviously I'll be driving and we'll be outside for a little bit to get to the hotel or to the restaurant, but I'm going to do my normal makeup because I want to be a little more done up. So now I'm just going to do my bronzer in my, um, eliminator um the you just mentioned a drone show and that just reminded me um my kids and I are watching um America's Got Talent and there was an audition I think it was just from last week actually I think we're caught up um but they it was like a big drone drone show and it was amazing I think it was a thousand drones if I remember right this group of guys did it. It's so cool. You'll have to look it up if you like that kind of thing. Yeah, send me some, send me some stuff. I'll check it out. We didn't do a lot of like pre-planning things, just the like which park do we want to go to on what day, that kind of thing. I just decided that whatever we hit, we hit. And if I didn't know about it, I didn't, I don't know about it. So I don't feel like I'm missing out, right? Um, I did get my perfecter wet since I am doing um my full makeup routine, I really like to have that perfecter just to make sure I don't have excess makeup because if you have too much makeup, it's gonna slide off in this kind of hot weather. Okay. So tomorrow is our big, big park day, our first big park day. We are going to Magic Kingdom. I'm so excited. I haven't been there for, oh gosh, what color? I don't know what color I just picked up. We're gonna do a blend. Um, that's like ruby and a little bit of nude there. We're just gonna go with it because I just got, I used too big of a brush to try to get that. Um, so I'm so excited for that. You guys at Downtown Disney, I'm just gonna keep calling it Downtown Disney because that's what I know it as. Um, Anyway, um, we went into the Disney store and there was a cute sweatshirt I was really tempted to get, but you guys, I held, I restrained myself. I asked Brian if he liked it and he was like, it's okay. <laughs> so that meant, okay, maybe don't get it. But I did see, um, uh, what was it? Oh, you guys, the Mickey Mouse ears, are they worth it? You guys, if you buy two, they're $30 each or they're $34.99 each. I don't think I'm going to, you guys, they're just they're really cute. I took a picture, I'll have to share it. Um, some really cute Mickey Mouse ears, but I decided that I probably shouldn't get it because I'm only gonna wear it like two days this week, right? And then who knows, I'll probably not be coming back again. That's how we did it in November. Yeah, so I'm someone, um, 
I'm someone who, if I plan things and I, it, I can't follow through with everything, it really like bothers me. Um, and it's so, I just, I know how, who I am and how I react to that kind of stuff. So I just didn't want to be let down. I am setting my face, you guys. Um, you're not going to see me often set my face except for when I know I'm going to be outside, possibly even have, um, sunglasses on. So I am putting vanilla dust setting powder I'm using the small end of the detail brush. I've been really liking that and just picking it up and doing like the triangle underneath um, my nose, the bridge of my nose right here, anywhere where you kind of the T-zone kind of get a little more sweaty there and my sunglasses. That's where I hit up those spots. It definitely doesn't make me feel as crazy. I mean, I am a planner, but um, I, I really learned that that's how I react to things when, um, if you guys are have been friends with me for several years now, you know that my kids and I like to do um, summer bucket lists. And so we do, um, I've made the summer bucket list and the first couple of years was okay. And, and we had fun with it, but one year I actually, because I felt like we still had a lot. It was a big bucket list. And it's all, I just tell you, what do you guys want to do? And it doesn't mean we're going to do it all, right? But in my head, I felt like um, we did not have an accomplished summer, like a successful summer, fun summer. I don't know. Like it's, I know it's dumb, but because I didn't cross off a lot of things on our bucket list, there was a lot of stuff left. I felt like we didn't have a good summer. I felt like a failure, like I was a lazy mom. I don't know. It really got to me. And so we took off a summer or two where I didn't do a bucket list. Um, and I know it's just in my head because I can tell you, like I always take pictures. I know what we did and I know we had a fun summer. But sometimes I think if you plan it and then you don't follow through with it, then you do feel like it was a, a failure. So. I have learned that about myself and I just decided I want to have fun and just whatever we see we do and if I don't know about it I'm not gonna miss it right so that's how I went into this trip um, I definitely read I follow like a Facebook group and have read things about some of this stuff so I know some information I've talked to friends but I Again, didn't I didn't write anything down. I'm just going with the flow. So I just did my fast and easy makeup um, or eye look, I mean, that I really like to do. Super simple. I just put it on with my finger. And then I just go in with a dark color. Hey, everyone. Oh, hey, Sarah. I saw that more people hopped on. You guys, we're going to go out to eat tonight. The re restaurant is right here on the resort. It's a little fancier, I guess. And you know, okay, you guys, I am one who, I just packed a dress along. No one, we didn't talk about packing. I'm sure nobody else packed a dressier thing, but I just, it's a casual dress. It's not that dressy, but in my head, I'm like, we're going out to eat. It seems a little fancier. So I'm gonna dress up. So I have a dress on, I'm gonna do my makeup. I got my jewels on, I mean, I like getting dolled up. I think it's fun. And it's funny if you guys know my sister, if you don't know my sister, we are polar opposites when it comes to that kind of stuff. She was like, I didn't even pack makeup along. I'm sure she didn't even pack a dress or anything. It's just who we are and this is me. So I like to have a dress along. When Brian and I travel, I'm always like pack a nice outfit along because I want to dress up and go do like a fancier dinner. So. I'm sure I'll look all dressed up compared to everyone else, but. Exactly, Sarah. Yeah, I, I had heard from someone that talked about that, like it's actually Disney kind of, the way they created it was basically in one day, like I don't, I'm gonna make up a number, but it's like five moments, meaning like five big moments, maybe three to five, I don't know. But like, that's all you really should get done in a day. It, which seems crazy. And that's why I'm like, I just don't want to try to overpack my schedule or anything. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have fun. So tomorrow is Magic Kingdom Day. If there's anything that you guys are like, yes, you have to do that, um, let me know. Like um, specifically rides, like I said, I didn't look up things. 
Um, we have some riders that want to do like crazy rides and we have riders that like it's a small world and that's it because you know we just can't handle all of that motion so we have a big crew I don't know if I said who's all here it's my so it's my family five of us and then my parents then my sister and her two twin daughters there they are they just got back from the grocery store hi <laughs> Bradley was just waving through the window um Hi, see my sister just walked by and she's like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we have all the different kinds of writers and there's a big group of us. So we'll be taking turns, splitting up probably to go on different rides depending on what everyone wants to do. Um, I am like a medium rider. I am gonna take some sort of like, um, motion sickness medicine in the morning so that I can feel good all day. Um, I don't, I do like some like faster rides, but I don't want spinny or like 3D kind of feel. Okay, I see comments popping up, just a sec. Space Mountain, I do like Space Mountain. I did go on that back in high school and I remember I liked, I went on everything back in high school even because nothing was like high. I'm afraid of heights, but everything really wasn't high. It was just fast and I liked that. So let's see what else. Yep, reserve. You must have had that special app to reserve things for rides. That's kind of what I thought. Splitting up is okay. It's fine. Like we can have fun and it's fine. I know my parents also talked about when they've gone by themselves, my dad's a, like a big rider, he likes rides, but my mom does not. And so my dad would often go in the single pass lane and you can go a lot faster if you're willing to go as a single person. And I'm like, well, if us adults are willing to do that, let's just go. I mean, I do like to ride with people. I'm like, if it's a scarier ride, I need someone to be like holding my hands. But I wouldn't mind doing that. That seems like a really smart tip. Yes, I agree. Oh, Big Thunder Mountain at night. Ooh, I'll have to look into that one. Three years being right. Hmm. Pamela, right there with you. That's us, right? Maybe we should go. You could come down to Adventureland and you guys should all come to Des Moines and we can go to Adventureland and we could have a good time. Okay, so I have the app, but I don't think, I think, do you mean like watching wait times? Like I can see all the wait times, but I don't think I can, I don't have anything where I can actually like reserve a line if, or like a spot or a ride or something like that. Okay, last thing I have to show you guys, look at, I did my nails, I painted them. Don't they look like professional? So pretty. Anyway, I'm so excited. I'm a Mickey lover all in all, and I'm so excited to see all the princesses and the castle tomorrow. I can't wait. So thanks for following along with me. Enjoy all the giveaway um, posts that I have. Make sure you're interacting, and we'll see who the big winner is once I get back from my trip. So keep following along. Thanks for hopping on, ladies. It was fun. Yes, Genie Plus is the app, which we're not doing. But anyway, bye.